Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create cohorts. Cohorts are generally informal groups in which you can put people from multiple branches or sub branches. An individual person can be in multiple cohorts. Uh, now, in terms of cohort, the overall admin can create a cohort for the overall organization. In fact, a branch admin can also create the cohort for their branch only. So let's go into how to create a cohort and how to add users into that cohort. So if you go into site administration, the moment I go into site administration, I will go to users. And in users, if you see, there is a button known as cohorts. So the moment I click on cohort, a new page will open and there there is a button for adding a new cohort so the moment i click on add a new cohort and uh, let me give a dummy name here test cohort one and let me keep it on the system we can also create based on courses but in this case let's keep it as a system here Always better to have a cohort ID. If you want to have a description written, you can have a description written. It is not a compulsory field, but, and I'm going to save change. So if you see, there is a cohort that has been created. Now there are four icons against it. One is to disable or hide this cohort. The second is to delete this cohort if required at a later stage. If you want to edit it, you can just change the name or uh, change the ID of the co uh, cohort. You can do that. And you can even add people onto those cohorts. So let me click on assigning people onto this cohort. So please note, if you are an overall administrator, you will see all the users inside your LMS, irrespective of which branch they belong to. But if you are um, a a branch admin or a department admin, then you can only see the users who are in your branch or department or sub branches. So keep that in mind. So now that I have, I can see cohorts here. I just need to select the people I want to put into this cohort and click on the add button. And if you notice the three people whom I have selected have now got into this cohort. So let us see our cohort right now. So if you see now it says the cohort size is three. So having people in the cohort, it helps because you might want to have uh, a different set of people from various uh, units of yours in a particular course. So rather than individually enrolling different people from different units into that course individually, you can just create a course and enroll this cohort into that course. Then automatically all the people in the cohort will get that course. Going forward also, whenever you add any new person into this cohort, whatever courses have been assigned to this cohort, those people will get those courses automatically. So in that way also, the, it helps in enrollment as well. Okay, so I think this uh, functionality of creating a cohort, which is a informal group for an organization or a unit inside an organization will help you in enrolling and creating uh, learning paths for your people. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.